G'day everyone, welcome back to the After Hours Gaming League semi-final, best of seven, it is between Amazon and Storm 8. We've seen some really, uh, really interesting games, of course, game number one, we saw an interesting uh, opener from the Storm 8 player Shiver, of course, unfortunately taken apart by a very quick four gate from Cicero. Game number two, we did get to see a short round versus Cha Shui, and a, a very interesting, very quick tech style from a short round and was able to take a win back for Storm 8. This time we're going to see a Zerg versus Zerg. I know a lot of people aren't uh, the, well, you know, not the best of friends with Zerg versus Zerg, but hey, maybe we'll see something new. We've got our Storm 8 player up at the top left hand side here as the Red Zerg player. It is Nasher. And we'll see what he, if he does some gnashing today against his uh, Zerg opponent down at the bottom right hand side on Belshia Vestige. It is Amazon's Metzel Mats as the blue Zerg down here. So, uh, yeah, as we were saying, you know, Zerg versus Zerg has uh, become a little bit of a weird matchup just because of the fact that, uh, well, a lot of the players, not even the Zerg players themselves, were big fans of this matchup just because of the very, uh, well, the very sort of static nature of this matchup. You see either, there's basically, from what I understand, of course, I'm not a full expert, I don't actually play Zerg that much, um, pretty much what you see is a lot of Rocho Lins, very heavy Rocho Lins right at the start, uh, of course the average Bailing and Ling fights, and then just Mass Muters, like, uh, apart from that, you you don't really get to see too much. I would really like to see some of the replays from some of the C players, of course. Down here in uh, in Australia, we have some really good uh, Zerg players, of course, Pig and Mafia and Moonglade, all these guys who play a lot of ZVZ. So m maybe those guys have uh, thought of another way to deal with it. I have heard that some people are playing around with, uh, with Hydra Baneling. I don't know. We'll post what you think about that in the comments down below. But uh, we are going to see quick expansions out of both of these players. We do see that uh, Nasher has actually gotten his gas up reasonably quickly. So we will be able to get that uh, Zergling speed up pretty quick. And his opponent is going to be a little bit behind that. He will have a couple more Zerglings out maybe a little bit earlier. Of course, his Queen is also going to be a bit quicker here as well. So we will be able to augment some of that production while he's at it. So, uh, yeah, as I was saying, like, the matchup has generally become a, a bit of a muter fest, a lot of, uh, large-scale muter battles. You commonly see upwards of 15 or more muters in just big flocks floating across the map, dancing in the air with each other, and basically being decided by, uh, you know, if, if someone can get maybe, like, the clutch fungal out, just pulling down a huge hunk of those, uh, huge chunk, sorry, of the, uh, of the muters and, uh, maybe winning that way, or just perhaps you win by a simple, uh, a difference in the build order or some, these, these various types of methods, because realistically, of course, the muters are just fast, very, uh, very strong units when it comes to dealing with, uh, you know, defensive capabilities as well, but we'll find out, perhaps, uh, that either of these two guys have something up their sleeve, as we said before, work account going straight up to the standard sorts of levels, 18, 19, a few more popping out for each of them. We'll see Nasher is just a tiny bit behind on the work account, not too far, but it doesn't really matter at the moment. It's just uh, the very early phase of this matchup. Also, of course, a key thing to keep in mind is the fact that there are these uh, these overlords out on the map. It looks as if Nasher has actually gone a little bit uh, a little bit better with his spread of the overlords, just keeping control of what's going on. For Metzel Mats, he's just had a quick look to see what's going on at the natural, and then that's about it, apart from one overlord up here. So we'll see if they uh, perhaps uh, get a good spread of these overlords going around the map, but we do see a quicker bailing nest coming out of Metal Mats, so he's going to have the option to go for a little bit, perhaps, uh, of an earlier sort of attack, but I don't think we're going to see that from him. He has uh, just, uh, in the past, done some a little bit more defensive kinds of things, but we'll see. He's going to have a couple of Zerglings inside the front door now, just checking to see what's going on. I want to confirm that that hatchery is there. The queen forces them back. Get out of town, she says. Get off my lawn. And we actually see that uh, Natura is going to pick up some of his onlings and a bailing nest as well. So we'll, you know, these, these sorts of uh, common, very sort of openings, uh, very common openings out of both of these plays here. Not really investing too much in the gas just as of yet. Want to make sure they've got some good map presence out at the, uh, the early stage of the game and then going to get their gases rolling very soon. I would assume. We've already got Metzelmatz throwing down a gas number two inside his main base. A couple of uh, Zerglings from Nash just poking through. Want to see what's going on with their speed finish. They did catch that a couple of Banelings have been created here. So he will be aware that there is going to be some uh, some very high defensive presence out on the map and the possibility that there could be some counter attacks. So Nasha throwing down a couple of spine crawlers here, getting a few of his own Banelings as well. And it looks like, well, 
we are going to see gas number three and even number four from Metal Matt. So he is going to pick up his gas a little bit earlier. He's also gotten started on his Lair Tech now as well. For our uh, Storm 8 play, he's actually very far behind in the gas count, of course. Uh, only just getting a gas number one and now two, three, and four are being picked up as well. But of course, this means that his, uh, his income of that gas is going to be very far behind. And we'll see when he's going to pick his Lair up. Because of course, if you get left behind in the race to the Mutas, as we mentioned before, you can just fall apart realistically because it can be very difficult to deal with. Of course, a couple of ways that I have seen players uh, deal with slow muters compared to their opponents. You can throw down just a whole bunch of uh, lings and just constantly zergling harass your opponent. They're not going to put as much uh, gas into the bailing, so you may be able to catch off a couple of big hits. And speaking of big hits, Metal Mats catches out some of those lings before they get anywhere near getting up the ramp. And he is going to be very happy with that situation right now. We do have Nasha just sitting at a total of 39 drones right now. He is very far behind. He is investing in these lings that he is getting out, trying to get some harassment done. It looks as if he is going to try and uh, just bound his way across the map, looking for a third base. It's not there at the moment, but it is about to go down. The drone coming across, and he will spot that hatchery, and uh, we'll see if he gets his own. Yes, he does. So, looks like, uh, well, Metal Mats has gotten into a very interesting position here. He's just about to uh, roll across unfortunately the two spines will be able to deflect this and while that's going on there is a little bit of a ling battle down at the third base of metal mats and we see that he is uh, going to deflect it for the time being but n w realistically look at this the the work account here Nash is falling further behind uh, down at 42 at the moment he's currently got a uh, his, his opponent is sitting at 51 workers right now and he's going to increase a lot further and just look at the spire actually where is it there is a spire I'll just over it right then the spire already just about done here for Metal Mats. So he is going to have not only a massive uh, resource position right here to invest in those Mutalists, but also he's light years ahead. Nash's, Nash's uh, Spire has only just gone down, and this is going to cause a lot of trouble for him. But we do see the Lings coming in for an attack on the third base of Nasha. Will he be prepared? A couple of Banelings coming across, and they will wipe out huge amounts of those Lings and uh, Nasha. With a, well, you know, I wouldn't say that's a victory right there, but he has forced that attack back. If he can keep this alive, then he may be able to uh, just keep himself in the race for the um, large quantities of mutas right here. But uh, as we can see, Metal Mats with his own huge explosions on at those lings, and he is, uh, well, he's not going to get the third base, but he has been able to get all of these mutas out. We've got 10 mutas just about to pop out here for Metal Mats. He's got these prawns with wings up in the sky, and he's going to be able to put some pressure on his opponent already, finding a stray overlord in the middle of the map. There is, of course, a second one just across to the side as well. And we'll probably see Nasha just retreat with these overlords as fast as he can. Does not want to get supply block for too long. He is already supply blocked for a moment right now. 85 over 78. He is going to need to crank out a couple of these overlords. Attempting to get his own Mutalist out now as well. Just eight on the way, but he does have the Flyer Carapace just researching right now. But Metal Mats has just invested in these Mutas quick smart, and he's getting this Spire out uh, and has already gotten that done. Of course... We'll come along, we'll take out another Overlord, supply blocking his opponent for just a second, but the Mutas of Nasha are now starting to come out, and we'll see if they do have the uh, the presence to try and drop down and deal with the Mutas of Metal Mass, but it looks like the count is 14 to 5, and it is dropping quick smart for Nasha right now. He is down to one Muta, down to no Mutas, just the remaining couple of Queens here to defend for him. Unfortunately, Spine Crawl is not what you want right now. This third base is probably going to go down as the Mutas continue to make Make their way across the map and there is that sort of counter attack that I was mentioning Nasha just coming across is going to try and uh, make his opponent bring some of the muters back or at least keep some of the other muters back at home while he tries to get his own muters out but unfortunately with the upgrades uh, well still very very far behind there he is going to try and get some more lings out but the muter count is just continuing to drop down and while we do see Nasha getting a couple of good counter attacks across at the third base I don't think it's going to be enough a Bailey comes in to clean that up and while a queen did go down unfortunately Unfortunately, I don't think that's going to be enough for Nasha. Muta's now inside his third base, just virtually just doing whatever they want here. A couple of spores coming across to be built, but unfortunately, that is not going to be enough. The last remaining queen here from Nasha is going to come across and see what she can do. A Muta flying in, just idly coming by and saying hello. Two Muta's there, but unfortunately, there's not going to be enough. Nasha 
is most likely going to fall here. He is pulling back some of those mutas. As we said before, these kind of counterattacks can uh, sort of slow down the attack, but the big issue at hand is that Nasher is now down to 34 drones right now. His mining has just gone kaput, and with these uh, Lings doing some damage inside the natural base, he will be able to secure quite a few drone kills, but the mutas are going to clean this up, and I would say that, that is going to be the end of our Storm 8 Zerg player right here. Unfortunately, just falling a little bit too far behind in the tech there, and of course the drone count as well. We were not able to see him get his uh, mutas out on time, and unfortunately that can, well, pretty much that can cost you a, cost you a game in ZVZ just because of the way this matchup functions at the moment. So the last, uh, well, the big flock of mutas from Metal Mats floating their way across the map, 18 in total out around the place for him right now, and it looks like there will be another counter-attack at the third, the queen going down yet again, a, a uh, bailing coming across, dealing with that, another queen pops out, and she's going to be able to defend off that attack. Drones and Bailings and Mutas, not perhaps the best combination for dealing with these Mutas from Metal Mats, and Amazon takes a 2-1 lead right now in this semi-final. It is a best of seven, so it's first to four. Race to four, and we'll see who gets there. Of course, Amazon now in that lead. They may have a bit of an edge, but will Storm 8 be able to come back? We'll find out in just a moment.